and welcome. This is my first attempt at a uh, YouTube video. I'm going to try to do quite a few of them because it seems that um, I could write about it, but it just, I think, a lot better if I could show it in picture form and then ask some questions or someone ask some questions and then I can answer them in writing or even possibility show another video. Um, this is current project. It's an inch and a half to the foot scale, Pensy K4, number 1361. Uh, I built it all from scratch. I made all the patterns, had the castings made at foundries, bronze, aluminum, lost wax. Uh, not much aluminum, actually, but mostly bronze, iron, aluminum, and lost wax. And machined it all, of course, here in our shop. And not in, this portion here is where I do a lot of the erecting work. It was my patio that I extended the roof out on and to um, work on the locomotive. Um, to my right here, in this room next door where I have my lathe and my bridge port, I have um, a 15-inch lathe. A, a bridge port, standard bridge port. I have four drill presses. I have two bandsaw. I have a Heliarch TIG welder. And I have some sheet metal equipment. And uh, at the present time, I don't have any of that. However, uh, within the next several months, I'm going to be moving to a, an 1,800 square foot facility. And at that facility, I'll have shutter or shearing. Uh, steel and uh, and so on. Basement. I have a woodworking shop. I like to keep the woodworking equipment separate of the metalworking, as the dust causes the metal machinery to dry out the bearings, and this doesn't seem to be a, a good environment for um, around metalworking machinery. So I keep those separate. I have a um, a delta. Um, Uni saw, floor model, heavy duty saw. I have a, a another band saw down there, another drill press. I have a planer, a thickness planer, because that's very important when you're doing patterns. You have to get the exact thickness you need. And uh, I have a spindle sander and uh, a, a, a several so on. Now, I hope to be getting this some, into some pattern uh, making, which will be two. CNJ heavy Mikados, and I'm going to base it on the rare supply design. However, I may make my own cylinders and cradle. I, I don't really care for the build up cradle, although there's a lot of engines running around with those, but I prefer the one piece. And I always wanted to make a, a, a trailing truck, a Delta trailing truck pattern, so I'm going to be doing that. And I hope to be covering those in a, a, a series of videos and possibility someday doing a pattern making uh, book on the uh, practical pattern making for the live steamer. Uh, it'll be strictly uh, targeted towards the live steam patterns for locomotive work. Uh, we just currently came off running the uh, 1361 at the New Jersey live steamers. We have the timing set now very very nicely as you can hear on some of the videos that I posted. And um, it's a real pleasure to operate this locomotive. I, I haven't really gotten a load behind it yet, but uh, I'm pretty sure it could pull at least six or eight passenger cars with with, uh, with full passengers, three or two to three passengers per car without any problem. And um, um, uh, like I said, I'll, I'm going to be doing more videos of this. This is my first one, so uh, enjoy them as I as I post them. It takes a little while to do such and it also with YouTube it takes a while to download them um, a three minute video took me about three hours to down or upload I should say not download it, to upload them but I do it at night and the next morning when I uh, awake to go to work they're ready to go and then at that point I post them uh, on the uh, on the uh, ch the chassis so uh, like I said enjoy my my uh, my videos. I, I certainly will. I, I think uh, I've always wanted to do this, and now's my opportunity. So uh, I'll be doing quite a number of them, and uh, 
hopefully uh, you'll get something out of it and I can pass my knowledge on to you. I, um, there's a lot of ways to do things. I'm not saying I'm the only way, but um, I've been doing this since 1969, so coming up this May, it'll be 40 years that I've been working on live steam locomotives. i built a number of locomotives. i built a number of cars, and, um, and uh, i built several railroads for people. So I've been doing this for, uh, for uh, I've had enough ex exposure to all different types of live steam, the aspects of live steam. And uh, I hope to try to pass some of those things on to you. And uh, you take it and do what you want with it. And uh, you can take my ideas and use them or use portion of them. That's whatever you want to do. But uh, I just wanted to give you my point of view of it and uh, enjoy. So thank you very much and hope to see you in the future.